Look out, handicap action underway. And given the odds here, I suspect this one will be quick and not so painless. That'll realign your vertebrae. The shoulders are down. Look at this, Byron. She's almost out of it. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. <laughs> Boom, what impact. She's taking on some heat. She better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control quickly. Looks to me like her game plan hit a bit of a snag here, guys. She better make a change quickly if she wants to win this handicap match. This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. Harsh impact. Look at this, Byron. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Uh -oh. oh! Incredible! One! Two! A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars Three. square off against respective opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Oof! Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. Some good technique right there. I think she's trying oh. to prove a point here. Side slam! Here's her chance! Jeez, I felt that one over here. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the... She goes for the cover. For a kick out. Uh uh. What a stomp. Good grief. You can see the confidence oh, just beaming from her right now. No, she's too quick for her. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Ooh, what impact. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear... We know what this is. It's a stampede. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advent. Going for the big one. Look at this. What is keeping this competitor going? She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and never end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business rather oh, wow. than to get cocky because you have more people. She's looking at it. 
throughout. What an aggressive side slam. This one's over, guys. Did you see the impact on that? Wow. She goes for the cover. King and out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. She's still in this one. She's taking on some offense here. To be expected, though, given the competition she's in there with tonight. Yeah, but I doubt this is her undoing. She still seems to have plenty of fight left in her. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair which in my mind was she shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Throughout WWE's more than 54 year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap. She might have it. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog was tossed. She could airline miles for that. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Combination of shots there. The soup feeling. She could pick up the win here, guys. Look out, look out! This could be it! We've seen handicap matches through. That's just... This could be it! Oh my! Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Look at her go! I've talked to several people who think she's bitten off more than she can chew here. I can't say that I agree. Nailed it! No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors involved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and never end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. She's looking at it. Want to get super flex. I knew it was only a matter of time. And she turns it around on her. Three. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. We're looking at complete domination here. A handicap match. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. I think she's trying to prove a point here. <laughs> Beautiful technique. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. A superstar who's seen the most hand. She goes for the cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. This oh, what a combo! That should do it. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan, Braun Strowman, absolutely destroyed four local competitors. 
All right, pump handle. Pump handle comes. Boom. Incredible suplex. This one is shoulders down. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply... Yes! Takes it! Well, the numbers don't always tell the story in a handicap match. Here's another look. Look at her go. That's a woman on a mission. She's taking care of business. And here's a last look at this one. Here are your winners. The Queen, Bad Attitude, and... Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. Believe it or not, I didn't think she was going to be able to do it. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest.